This is where it means the zombies mean. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros are comments made by Derek Chisora in which he said he's considering an MMA fight while waiting for his fight with Alexander Usyk. So I'm going to share this screen. And bang. Let me move this over so it's more in view. This is ESPN. Derek Chisora is considering a mixed martial arts fight in July while he waits for a date for his heavyweight fight with Alexander Usyk. So that was on May 30th. Fellas, starting off with G, <laughs> what are your thoughts on the UK mascot, Derek Ward Chisora, Del Boy, as, hey, I, I, as I keep this. seeing? Yo, listen, I, I'm going to echo actually what Dillian White said on the IFL interview. He was like, yo, listen, boxing is one sport, but MMA is a whole different beast, you know, and it requires different types of uh, muscles, different types of defenses. It's not as easy as just throwing hands when now you got elbows and you got knees and you got takedowns. and It's a, it's a whole different type of atmosphere. And so what Dillian said was, yo, stay away from that. Chisora, you don't want that those problems, right? And I, I agree 1,000% with Dillian White on this. Chisora, I get it. You, you feel like, you know, all I need is to land a big punch. Now, I will say this. From watching UFC and watching boxing, clearly boxers are better strikers in regards to the hands. However, you know, these guys aren't going to try to go toe-to-toe like a stand-up game with, with no Chisora, they're going to take him down to the floor and it's just going to be ground and pound. You know, same thing if Floyd Mayweather got in the octagon. They're not going to try to exchange with the hands with no Floyd Mayweather. They're going to take him to the floor and then the fight's going to be over. You know, and so boxers are at a major disadvantage with that particular sport. And so I, I don't recommend him doing it. Now, if you said like Dillian White, however, who has at least kickboxing experience, and he, he's done, he's dabbled in MMA, then it's like, oh, I can entertain a Dillian White because at least he knows what he's doing with that type of uh, fight, like the mixed martial arts fighting style. Chisora, not so much. Chisora and not so much, he has crazy endurance issues. So I don't even see him after a takedown, after getting body slammed to the floor and struggling to get back up, I don't even see him really finishing those, uh, uh, like a, a five-round fight in the UFC or any other um, MMA uh, sports uh, body or whatever. I, I just think he's crazy, man. But if he's doing it for a huge payday, then why not? I mean, shoot, like if they offering him millions of dollars to, to get beat up, I mean, he already does that now, you know? So you <laughs> <laughs> might as well, man, you know? And I like right. Warchester. True you know, dollar like bill. Um, you know, just me personally, these views has nothing to do with uh, my other comrades. All right, hey, hey. All uh, right, we got to do it. Let me, <laughs> let me disassociate us from you real quick. The views and opinions of Trill do not reflect mm -hmm. the boxing bros, the brand, and the faces you see on the screen. Go ahead, Trill. Only time I want to be rolling around on the ground sweaty and slippery is if I'm lady. I don't understand the whole I'm sorry, man. I, I, you know, I hate to cut you off, bro. But you went mute um, <laughs> on my screen. Oh, okay. Can you, can you repeat what you okay. said? What I was saying is, me personally, the only time that I want to be rolling around sweaty and slippery is with my lady. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Each his own, though. To each his own, you know what I'm saying? Some guys like to, you know, get moved up and, you know, run around with their homie and wrestle and roll around with their friends and stuff. That To each his own. That's just not my thing. Uh, Chishora, if this is what you want to do to get loose, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> for the fight, you know, whatever you want to do to loosen up before the fight with uh, Yusuf, hey. <laughs> Different strokes for different folks, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Well, 
The I views guess, and like, opinions. <laughs> I guess so you now. <laughs> I don't even know how to lead after that, man. I didn't think Joe was going to go in that yeah, direction. I didn't think he was going to go in that angle. Either. I didn't think he was going to go in that direction. <laughs> That's not but, my, I'm not into it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Chisora, man. Maybe money's tight right now, and they offer him a kind of a, a nice check to show up in, you know, probably. Hopefully it's not like a serious fight, like like he's fighting somebody top notch. It's just, just an up and come or just a just something for the views. You know, we like we said earlier, G said Chisora is a A-side gatekeeper. And maybe they want some of that A-side gatekeeper money at the for an MMA fight when they will use his name to sell that fight. A-side gatekeeper. And Chisora's pockets is like, damn, man, we, we spent a lot on grocery these past couple of months. And, you know, we, we, need, <laughs> we need to recover. So that's all. That's a good point, too. Remember, UFC, they're fighting right now. They actually just had uh, UFC, was it 250 or something? Y- yesterday or two days ago. And she sure is like while boxing, now boxing's frozen right now. Well, so no, it's not. Boxing's boxing, boxing back on Tuesday. Oh, well, well, they started true. fighting them in Mexico on June yesterday, I think, June 6th. They, look, they look, this is what sure was Chishore was just impatient. He yeah. UFC was getting it on, and he was like, Loop me up, <laughs> <laughs> loop me up. I, I just say, Yo, I every I, time I, you I say that, yeah. there's this movie I can't I can't recall what movie Ladies it is. Ladies man, huh? <laughs> Ladies man, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, say, you gotta move me up, and that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> Hold I on. do say this. I, 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 mean. I don't know. Yeah. How to uh, so, would you like a fifth sandwich? <laughs> uh, baby, it looked like someone took two fine Christmas hams and shoved them down the back of your dress. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, are we going to bone? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my man and the ladies, man. That was a great movie. It's a lady. I think his name is uh, Tim Meadows. I think his That's name it. is Leon Phelps. Uh, did you write this letter saying that you want to share your money? I mean, love. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I gotta go check that movie out. The ladies, man. You gotta like a certain type of humor to get down with that movie, yeah. though. And you'll but see people Will in the UK Fra- seem to like that type of humor, though. So you'll see Will Fra- Farrell in there trying to lube everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, let me finish up. I, I just say this, Chisora, be careful, you know, them choke outs, a kick to the face, a rip punch, a gut punch or something could set you back a couple months, man, before that you Usyk fight happens. So that's all. Here's the deal, man. I've seen this before. Uh, Merciless Ray Mercer fought Randy Couture, I believe. Um, I wasn't really big in MMA, and I knew they were bringing out old merciless mercer so randy couture can beat him and it was like couture took mercer down so easy and then just submitted him and it was just kind of like you have people like i told you you up she or whatever so i was just like dude put them in a boxing ring and merciless mercer would knock that dude out it's two different sports so Although I don't watch UFC, I respect UFC. There's so many disciplines that you can implement. Um, but it's also why, no disrespect to UFC, is not really much skill required, in my opinion. You have a master boxer. When you watch Floyd Mayweather, when you watch Canelo Alvarez, when you watch Vasily Lomachenko, when you watch up-and-comers like Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, you see art. You see technique. You see people. It's a sport for real, for real. Because you see discipline. MMA, and I'm not saying it's not skill involved, but what I'm saying is you, you rarely see an undefeated fighter because there's so many ways to, so one person is skilled in this, but this person not skilled in that. It's, it's, a, it's like flipping a coin. What position will they end up in for who can take advantage? But it's not really. Can you just say that what position they're going to end up in to see who can take advantage? <laughs> <laughs> yo, pause this whole segment, man. This, yo, y'all look crazy. Yo. Yes. Uh, so that is why I do not watch the sport. 
Yeah, but nah, for real, it's just so uncertain. Like, I like the fact knowing going into a fight, I know Mayweather's skill set. I know this person's skill set. Um, you know, it, it you know, going to a boxing match is a nice date. Like, for real, have you ever done it? If you've never done it, do it. It's a great date. Going to a UFC match is just like, you, mean, you better not go on a date to a UFC match. That, I mean, I, I don't want to speak for everyone, though. That's just my personal experience and in my opinion. In my opinion, the multiple ways you can lose in UFC make it too unpredictable, and it kind of hurts the sport. And like Trill said, the whole submission thing, I'm not into that. I don't want to see people on the floor trying to do arm bars and all that. That's not my thing. I want to see somebody see get... two men leg, leg locking. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to get Trill started again, bro? Play that battery and Trill back. You know what I mean? Why are you trying to get Trill started again? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see some question no UFC fights. I just say that or MMA fights. <laughs> I'm just saying it's just it's just not my it's just not my cup of tea. And I'm gonna be real. I know there are people who watch MMA and boxing. I don't want to come off as being disrespectful to MMA, but in actuality, I feel like a lot of avenues have been disrespectful to boxing from the beginning. Um, the way they try to push boxing as a dying sport. Um, the way they won't make a boxing video game. It just Dana seems White like, has literally said that in the past. What? I mean, that boxing is a dying sport. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like he said it back when we was in undergrad. And I was exactly. Like, mm -hmm. But yeah. boxing is alive and thriving. And in fact, MMA fighters are coming to boxing. MMA fighters are idolizing the boxers. They want, they want to get paid like the boxers. They want, so they're starting to realize uh, what type of contracts and what type of deals they're getting. They're getting pennies on the dollar for what they generate. Um, and, they start, and they're starting to realize that. So my thing isn't to kick MMA. So I don't want it to come off like we're kicking MMA. We're just sick of them bashing boxing. And we just want them to put some respect on boxing name. Treat us equally. Give us damn video games. Derek Chisora, if you want to go be a puppet for UFC, go ahead. Because whomever they put you in the ring with, you are going to get beat. Yeah. You're going, you, are not, you are not the athlete. To cross over <laughs> to uh, uh, MMA. <laughs> and for people who don't understand how real I am, I like Derek Chisora. When, when Trill and myself, when we were talking about how we like fighters, more, yo, I would say, I'm like, this is fanboy, and this is me with Chisora. I'm like right here, because I like Chisora's tactics. I like, you know, he not he's excited outside the ring and inside the ring. He going to knock you out or get knocked out. But either way, I'm there. I'm there for the drama. So I, I like fanboy status, me with Chisora. But you yeah. go to MMA, it's a bad look. That's that's all I got. And before we end this video, I just wanted to say I got a lot of I got a lot of respect for the um the MMA. You know, I like how y'all prevent rug burns. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> and check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. This is the Boxer Bros. Much love. We going to get jumped by them dudes with them balloon ears and everything, man, when they see us. Get some lotion. <laughs> <laughs>